Oh, hello. Welcome once again to Stuff and Things, where I like to talk about stuff and occasionally even things. I'm your good friend Bradley, and today it is time for another Pipe Tobacco First Impressions video. And the blend we're going to be looking at today is kind of an oversight on my part. I can't believe that I haven't looked at this tobacco yet. It is this. Capstan Gold Ready Rubbed. Now, I did Capstan Blue a long time ago, and I think I just assumed that I had done gold, and then I was looking through the tins that I have in my cellar, and then looking back through previous reviews and first impressions videos that I had done on the channel, and Capstan Gold wasn't there. So I thought it's high time that I check this blend out. It is a straight Virginia blend, like Capstan Blue. Might have a little bit of flavor in here. I haven't tasted it yet, but I'm assuming that it does. That's what I've heard, that it has some citrus flavor added. Straight Virginia, just with bright Virginias in there. It is produced by Mac Baron, but it was previously produced by Orlick. And then before Orlick, it was produced by W.O. and H.O. Wells. Obviously, I've never had any of those earlier versions. I've never had this modern Mac Baron version, but I've had the blue version several times. And I'm excited to try this out. I really enjoy Capstan Blue. I'm assuming I'm going to enjoy Capstan Gold. There is also a ready rubbed version of this available, but this is the flake version. So I have just released the vacuum seal. And now it's time to see what we've got here. Very nice, attractive gold packaging. Let me open this up, hopefully without ripping it. There we go. I remember from before when I had Capstan Blue that it was very neatly packaged and the flakes were very uniform and neat. So let's see what we've got here. Looks like we have a similar situation. Nice and neat, uniform flakes. Let me take a whiff here. That smells like a straight Virginia. It smells very grassy. Nice and bright, hay-like. Maybe slightly fruity. I'm assuming that if it is topped with anything, it's going to be topped with a citrus flavoring, but I'm not getting too much of that through the aroma. It's kind of plummy, but definitely fruity. And these flakes are nice and thin and uniform, like I mentioned. You can see that there. So this is exciting. I'm very interested in checking this out. <clears throat> I'm assuming, you know, the Capstan blends have been a staple for a very long time. Just a nice, basic, straight Virginia. I don't know how different the gold version is going to be from the blue version, but I'm going to rub some of this out. I think two flakes will probably do it. Let me grab two out of here. It feels a little moist, so I might have to let these dry out for a little bit. But I'll rub these out, I will load up my beautiful little Dunhill Bulldog pipe, and we will see what we've got with Capstan Gold. All right, gang, we are all loaded up and ready to go, and it's time to try Capstan Gold by McBaron. Produced by McBaron. Here we go. Okay, so I am definitely tasting some sort of citrus topping, typically with a straight Virginia blend. If it is the bright, grassy kind of Virginia, you will notice a citrus sort of overtone or something, a, a citrus flavor kind of underlying the grassy, hay-like quality. This has definitely been accentuated with some sort of topping. It's not super strong, but I'm definitely noticing that it's not just the citrusy sort of overtones that you would get inherent in the actual pipe tobacco. This is something that's been added on top. Too early to say if it's going to bother me or not, but so far it doesn't seem too bad. With these first impressions videos, I am trying to go in with an open mind without knowing too much about the blend. Obviously, if you've been into pipe smoking, you will know about the capstan blends. <laughs> Was that a Freudian slip? The capstan blends. But um, 
As I mentioned, I've had blue several times, have never had the gold, but I have heard about the gold. I know things about the gold, but I'm still trying to go in with an open mind. And then after a week or two, after the first impressions video posts, I will do a full review after I've been trying this probably every day for a week, a good week. So there's definitely a citrus flavor here. I'm also sort of getting apricots. That's the fruit that first comes to mind after oranges or kind of a slightly lemony sort of flavor as well. I'm definitely getting grass and hay. This is definitely a bright Virginia profile. It's not like a dark matured red Virginia profile. Definitely light, bright, sharp, sweet, grass, hay, citrus, apricots. Those are all the flavors that are running through my head right now. Billboards flashing. Neon lights. Not to say this is a super strong blend or anything or super strongly flavored, but those are the flavors that I'm getting. There's a little bit of caramel. There's a little bit of yeast or bread-like quality, but by far it's the hay, it's the fresh cut grass, and it's that citrus flavor. Now, I would prefer a blend that didn't have any obvious added topping. The topping in this is very, very understated. It's not just poured on there. It's not something that is super, super obvious. I think I'm gonna be okay with it. It's hard to say until I've lived with this for a week or two. Right now, it's tasting like a nice, fairly mild straight Virginia, a nice, high, bright, grassy straight Virginia with a lot of citrus flavor going on. It is pretty medium as far as just the body. It seems pretty mild, actually, as far as the flavor. I'm liking it so far. Like I said, though, I'm not sure if that bit of citrus topping is going to end up annoying me in the long term. But as of now, I think I am enjoying Capstan Gold. A nice, fresh, bright, straight Virginia flake. You can't really go wrong with that. My only caveat is that that citrus topping might be something that ends up annoying me in the long term, but we'll see. For now, I'm pretty impressed with Capstan Gold Navy Cut. Tune in for the full review coming up soon, but until next time, until we meet again, I've been a good friend Bradley. You've been the audience. This has been Stuff and Things. I'll see you later. Mmm. Yes. Oh, hello. Do you like videos about pipes and or pipe tobacco and other fun subjects like that? Well, YouTube doesn't. In fact, they dislike those kinds of videos so much that they don't let us monetize them because they consider them unsuitable for most advertisers. But if you do, please consider supporting us on patreon.com slash stuffandthingsshow. Link in the description box below. It would be much appreciated, and it would go towards helping us create more content like this.